Ladiva is Grand Blue Rising's signature grappler character, and grappler characters tend to live or die by how well they can keep up their pressure with their strike and throw game. And the good news is that Ladiva is pretty good at doing this because Ladiva has access to a few different types of safe jump setups that can really keep her pressure going and rack up the damage really fast. When you're playing a grappling character, your main goal is to stay in and do as much damage as possible when you're in because usually getting in can be kind of tricky. Mostly because of their big bodies and also their run speed. However, but with the power of some safe jumps, which those who don't know the safe jump meeting and ability to keep your pressure going while also accounting for your opponent's reversal options, you can really rack up damage fast. And today I'm here to show you how to do some good old safe jumps with Ladiva because it's very useful to know and it's going to quickly get you some quick wins against people who are a little reversal happy. Which, uh, trust me, this is a new fighting game for a lot of people, so people are reversal happy right now. So, uh, let's get into it, shall we? So before we go into any safe jump sets with Diva herself, let's quickly talk about reversals in general in this game. Now, when it comes to reversals, you obviously have supers and dragon punches, also known as DPs for short. And dragon punches slash DPs are typically going to be coming in two different speeds. You either have frame 9 DPs, like Grand's medium DP. That That's boot, my bad. Uh, I don't play Grand. Uh, one sec. There you go. So this one, as you can see, hits on frame 9. And then the other one, the EX one, which is the one you're going to see most people use as a reversal, hits on frame 11. This is important to understand because some safe jumps are going to work better against uh, slower DPs than faster DPs. So it's very important to understand what frame DPs your opponent has. However, for the most part, most people are going to rely on EX DP as it has the most invincibility frames to use as a reversal. So these safe jumps I'm going to show you here, I will signify if they're good against frame 9 DPs, frame 11 DPs, or supers, which for a general good uh, note to keep in mind is that if a move, I mean, if a safe jump works on a frame 11 DP, it's going to work on a super because supers are tend to be slower than frame 11. So just something to keep in mind. So for the first safe jump that I want to talk about, we're going to be talking about the main mid-screen one that you're going to be using a lot of the time if you're not in the corner. And this one works against supers and frame 11 DPs. And this one's pretty helpful, because this one is part of her main combo route, in my opinion. is what you should basically be doing almost all the time if you're going for a full-on combo without any throws or anything in the middle of the stage. And this one's pretty simple. You just do triple attack, headbutt, headbutt, 2L, 5L, sweep. Obviously, I did it slow there to talk about the notations while I'm doing the move. However, if you do it fast, it should look like this. As you can see, that's a full combo. It's a chain, that means it's a full combo, and obviously if you do it correctly, it won't drop. And the main reason you want to do 2L, 5L sweep, instead of anything else, is because this is a natural link into one another. And the sweep knockdown is what enables your safe jumps to be so consistent across the entirety of the screen. So just one more time. Boom, boom, boom. Headbutt, headbutt. Low, boom, boom. Jump. Do your body splash with jump U. And then land and hold block as you're landing. And as you saw, if you do everything correctly... It is completely safe and you'll bait out a DP. And, even better, if you were to, say, have your opponent be hitting buttons on wake-up instead of doing an actual DP, you block the DP, but let's say they're also doing, let's say, standing punch. Just for example. As you can see, he got hit there. That's because it hits meaty, so anything that's not invincible is going to get stuffed out by your fat body splash jump U. And also, since this is, you know, working against a frame 11 DP, as you can imagine, Super is not going to get them out of the situation whatsoever either. So this is a very important uh, route to learn. It's also just good for combos in general. Like, it's just a good mid-screen combo in general to learn. Obviously, as you can see there, if you're not perfect with it, you can still drop it, so you want to make sure, because this is not like a Gatling. This is an actual link you like from uh, 5L to Sweep. You can't do it just 5L Sweep. You have to go bop, bop into it. A little bit weird, but uh, it's something you should get used to doing. It's a very useful thing to learn as a diva, and of course it matters for the safe jump. So abuse the hell out of this, and make sure you punish your opponent with a fat punish if they ever do mess up and give you this free punish. And now it's time for the fun safe jump, the corner version. And the corner version takes advantage of three main things. First of all, it works on pretty much any reversal in the game, because this one actually works against 9 Famer DP, which is very, very handy. Not to mention, it also does a ton of damage, and also keeps your meter relatively healthy, because it is using Air SPD. However, it is not comboing into Air SPD from a cancel, it is comboing from it raw, meaning that you get a bit of a refill if you land this. And for those who are not aware, let me go over this really quick. If I were to combo into another U move, or say, U Lariat, 
as you can see, that costs 50 meter. However, if I were to say combo into, uh, let's see, what can I do? If I do a raw USBD, as you can see, it only costs 25. And that's because this game has a system where if you do not combo or cancel into a U move, you will actually get some meter refill back in return. So you only really cost 25 meter, which makes it a very cost effective, really good way to do damage. And of course, as you can mention, since I, as you can imagine, since I'm talking about it here, this leads into a safe jump. And for this one, you basically want to do your specials but in reverse. So let me give you an example. You want to do triple attack, like so, nice and simple. And then you want to follow it up with an EX Lariat, like so. Pretty simple starter. And keep in mind, uh, once you do this in the corner, they're going to be airborne if you hit them with an EX Lariat in the corner. So after this, you want to go another triple attack, headbutt, jump, air SPD. And as you can see, I get 25 meter back, so it's very cost efficient, and it also did a ton of damage. And here's the best part. It is completely safe to DP, and you can loop it, as you can just see right there off the punish. Mostly because air speed E, or just air, air speed E in general, animation lasts so long that it'll effectively wait out your cooldowns for you. So you basically have all your skills up to go again by the time your safe jump is over with. So it's a very handy thing, and as I mentioned before, I showed off against 11, a frame 11 DP, but if we go over here and take, like, say, a frame 11 DP, I mean, a frame 9 DP in Rising Sword, uh, medium version, As you can see, very 9 DP, perfectly fine blocked. Very handy trick indeed, because this will basically beat any reversal in the game as mentioned before. And something very important to note about this that you may have noticed while I'm doing this is that I, for some reason, after my SPD, do a punch into a jumping kick. Or jumping medium kick to be precise. And that's important because by doing so, you will basically manually time it for yourself to get the safe jump every single time. So just punch, landing kick, and there you go. Perfectly fine. And since jumping medium kick is very uh, meaty and very, you know, large and very deep in, like, going downward, it will basically stuff out any magic button attempts as well, just like a good old body splash did for the other safe jump. So that's why I'm doing that, in case you're curious. It's just a good manual timing. You technically don't need to, but it's just good to keep as a nice trick if you're having trouble with the timing. Something to keep in mind. But uh, that all being said, that's basically the big two safe jumps you're going to be using with Ladiva. One for the mid-screen, one for the corner, and obviously... Using these two things combined can get you some really nasty punishes and rack up the damage extremely fast. But uh, with all that being said, I think I've basically said all I have to say about our Superstar uh, Grappler here. So I think to end things off, I'll show you all just the amount of damage the Levy can do if you get them in the safe jump loop. So yeah, safe jumps, they're uh, they're pretty cool. Enjoy. So the first safe jump that I- Voice crack, holy crap. 